Uh, again, it, tonight, as much as we can, but certainly the days moving forward, we need to tell the stories of these nine people who we lost. Mm -hmm. um, they need to be the focus moving forward, and that's what's going to make this to, to help us really understand what happened at 1 o'clock this morning down in the Oregon District. We're learning more from some of the friends of one of the nine victims, a young man named Nicholas Coomer, who unexpectedly lost his life with eight others at 105 this morning in the Oregon District. Our Judith Rotana uh, has been speaking with folks who knew him well. Judith, uh, help us know who Nicholas Coomer was. Well, from, from everything I've heard so far, he sounded like he was really an amazing person to be around. We spoke with the Maple Tree Cancer Alliance, where 25-year-old Nicholas was an intern, and actually he was supposed to be completing his internship in a week, um, and they had actually just offered him a permanent position with the Cancer Alliance. Now, he helped cancer patients uh, regain a little bit of strength. People who were, you know, going through a tough time, he was there to make sure that they felt at least a little bit physically strong. Now, Karen Wonders, who founded the organization, spoke very highly highly of him saying he went above and beyond the job. She says his patients loved working with him, loved spending their uh, their training time with him. And as I mentioned, he was just one week away from completing his internship. Uh, just short was going to be offered a uh, had been, just been offered a permanent position with the company. Now the Alliance tells us he was the very first person they thought of when they were looking to fill some new positions in the organization. We're told he was in the Oregon district with two others from the Cancer Alliance. Those two others were shot. Um, unfortunately, Nicholas was the only one who uh, ended up passing away. Um, there was one other person with them. Uh, that person, we're told, uh, threw his girlfriend on the ground, covered her body with his, and they were both unharmed. Um, the Cancer Alliance now telling us that they hope he's remembered for his, uh, his willingness to help those in need. The things that he said was just he wanted to dedicate his life to serving cancer patients. And I think that that is so telling of his character and his heart in, you know, not just wanting to serve others, but to serve people who are sick and who are suffering. Now the, other two that, the other two that were shot alongside uh, Nicholas are now recovering. Uh, the Cancer Alliance says they're going to have a little reunion uh, with the people from their organization to kind of give them give each other a little bit of support and just really be there for each other. And they've actually decided to um, close down uh, their business for the next week or so to give everyone some time to breathe and some time to really process and cope. Um, so they, of course, with the other families and friends of the victims are just working uh, to process what happened, still working to to understand why, um, and hopefully we can we can help spread a little bit more of their stories and, um, you know, sh at least uh, shed some light um, on this really tragic situation. Uh, but for now, live in Greene County, Judith Hartana, 2 News, working for you.